There's a famous video that allegedly points out the discrepancies and inadequacies of human perception. The point is to show that even if you pay attention to something, you will miss most of what is going on here. You've no doubt seen this video because this one is really popular. It starts off with a bunch of guys playing basketball. The voice tells you to pay close attention to this. And then while the guys are playing basketball, a guy in a gorilla suit walks behind them. Of course, nobody can notice the gorilla. There's also plenty of memes floating around that have words that are purposely misspelled, but we can still read and understand the meaning. Some of these have been turned into riddles, where they have a sentence or a couple of sentences and you're supposed to count the number of Fs or something. Of course, in the sentences there are plenty of ifs, a couple of words like 55, 55, that are purposely designed to trick you into consciously noticing less Fs than there really are. Another interesting experiment was done by a group of psychologists. They were trying to test out just how much we pay attention to normal everyday things. They'll have these two guys posing as furniture movers. They'll wait until a pedestrian is walking down the street and then pretend to be moving a large picture across the sidewalk kind of like the cover of an old Rush album. The name of the album is Moving Pictures, which sounds like a movie, but the cover has two guys moving an actual picture. But in the experiment, there are actually three guys, but the pedestrian only sees two guys. One guy is hiding behind the moving picture, and when the pedestrian stops, one of the researchers who is pretending to be a picture mover starts a conversation with the pedestrian. And halfway through the conversation, he pretends he dropped something behind the picture and disappears briefly so the pedestrian can't see him. And then the third guy, who the pedestrian hasn't seen yet, comes back out and finishes the conversation. The purpose of the study was to see how many people noticed that the guy they started the conversation with is not the guy they finished the conversation with. Nearly always these experiments are meant to highlight the limits of human perception, as if by not perceiving everything around us all the time we are somehow limited in our intellect or something. But since these academic Academic types tend to get funding for studies that show some kind of problem. That's all they look for. In fact, if you were an academic researcher and you made your living by getting grant money, you'd only be looking for grant-worthy studies. You would only look for things that supported this type of idea. Things that were surprising or things that showed a statistical link between two random ideas. Since that's all they look for, that's all they find which is essentially how our brains evolved. There is far too much data hitting our senses to pick up all of it. Since most of this is nonsense anyway, our brains have evolved to only pay attention to the most important parts of this. This is essentially the function of our perceiving brain, to always be sorting amongst all the data hitting our senses and only picking out the stuff important for our objectives. The more you make clear your objectives, the more efficient your brain will become. If you are just wandering down the street minding your own business. The only thing your brain will pick out of the noise are dangerous things like snakes or beneficial things like money on the street. Nobody would have ever made it past the harsh filters of natural selection if they had a brain that was recording every single thing around them all the time so they could remember it. That would be ridiculous. Your brain is only wired to look for things that benefit you, which is exactly what those researchers are doing. They are only looking for things that will benefit them. So they do all these goofy studies that prove what should essentially be common sense. They are using their own sorting filters to create studies that point out the sorting filters of normal people with normally operating brains and then they somehow spin it to try and point out how our brains are inefficient somehow which is precisely the same part of the researchers brains that help them to create these goofy studies in the first place they do studies that verify what they already know is inside their own brain and then try and say that's a thing that's worthy of government grant money about half of the people noticed that the guy who came out from behind the picture wasn't the guy who went behind the picture what does this mean it could mean those people had a strong difference filter or they had a strong filter to find scam art disposing as psychologists the same type of filter that keeps us from getting conned imagine if we could only perceive written data if it was devoid of any mistakes or imagine if by understanding in a piece of written text meant we had to also be able to accurately count all the letters and remember the number of them all these studies really do is point out that our brains didn't evolve to keep track of a bunch of useless crap of course nobody notices the gorilla the first time but if you watch this video closely you'll see it was carefully created to hide the gorilla like they specifically created a video to trick us on purpose and then try to make us feel foolish because we were tricked your perception however is very very powerful this 
this is always working to help you get whatever you need. The more clearly you create your objective, the more your filters will help you find things that will help you get there. 